In this video, we will talk about how to reset password Windows 11. We will show you methods and steps you have to use to reset password of Windows 11. If you have a Microsoft account connected to your Windows 11 or you are using local account on your Windows 11. And make sure before you opt for any method from this video, watch the complete video so that you can understand which method you require to reset the password of Windows 11. Method 1. Reset Microsoft account. In this method, you need to open any browser you have. If you have a spare computer or you can open the browser on your mobile phone and visit to outlook.com. Once you'll be on this page, click on sign in. Here you need to type your email address. Simply add your email address and click on next. Afterwards, you will get an option to add the password, but you have to click on forget password. Once you'll do that, it will show you the option to select your phone number or either your email address. If you have added your email address, then you will see email address in here. If you have a phone number, then that will list in here. You simply need to select it and it will show you this option. I'm showing you on your screen. If you have a phone number or if you have an email address, you simply need to add that information to receive a code. And once you'll enter the code in here, you will get an option to reset the password. So simply reset the password and you can sign into your Microsoft account. Method 2. Command prompt for local account. In this method, we need to change this accessibility. Press and hold shift key on your keyboard. Click on this power icon. Select restart and keep holding the shift key until you get a screen. Once you'll get this screen, you need to release the shift key. Click on troubleshoot, advanced options. Now select command prompt. Now here we need to type some commands. First, we need to type the drive letter. It could be C or it could be D. In my case, I have C drive. After typing it, press enter. Now type DIR and press enter. If you have a C drive, then you will get this information in here. If you have a different drive, then it will not show up the directory information. Once you'll find the directory information, you need to type CD space Windows. Now type CD space system32. Press enter. Here we need to rename a file that named with utilman.exe. We need to rename it to utilman1. So simply type that command and type 1 and afterward press enter. Once you do this, you need to do the same thing. Here you need to change it to cmd.exe space utilman.exe press enter. Now close the command prompt. Click on continue. Here you will see a screen like this. Now you need to click on this accessibility. You can see the command prompt showing up. You need to type a command net pl vis press enter. Here you will see the option to reset the password. Simply click on reset and type the password. You can add the password in here or either you can leave it empty. Afterward, you need to click on apply and OK. Once you'll have your local account unlocked, you need to do the same thing. Press and hold the shift key and then click on power icon and restart your computer. And you need to follow the same procedure to open the command prompt. Once you'll be there, type some command to get the accessibility back. I have mentioned all the commands in the description so that you can follow that command and you can go back to the normal accessibility screen. So follow that command given in the description and you will get everything back to normal. Method 3. Create new local account. In this method, we need to create a new local account if you are not able to bypass this option. So simply create a new account and once you'll have a new user account, you can move all of your data from your old account to the new account. Let me show you how you can do that. Here you need to click on advanced. Again, click on advanced. Double click on users. Now click on action. Select new user. Here you need to type a name of your user. Uncheck this box. Click on create. Close it. Here you can see that eTechnis2, double click on it, select member of tab, select the users and remove it, click on apply and click on add. Here you need to type administrator, click on ok, again click on apply and ok. Now close this one, close everything on your screen and simply restart your PC. Once you will get a screen, click on ok and select your username. Click on sign in. Once you're signed in to your new account, you simply need to click on file explorer. Click on this PC. Open the Windows C drive. Double click on users. 
Select the old user account in which you were facing the problem and select continue. From here, you can copy all the information. You can move all the file you have in your desktop, document, download or in your any other folder. So that's how you can reset password on Windows 11. I hope our method will help you out. That's all for today. Meet you on next video.